Greetings and welcome to Put a Spin on It. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God is amazing all the time. And all the time, God is so very amazing. So today for Put a Spin on It, I present to you book number six, which is Princess Tales. And in the Princess Tales, the story that I want to tell today and put a spin on it is Cinderella. We know the story Cinderella. And the story Cinderella has been told multiple times across the world in different books in different languages. So if this is how the story goes with Cinderella. Cinderella and her father and mother were together and then the mother passed away and so the father was left to raise Cinderella. And then Cinderella's father remarried and he married a woman that was wicked and mean and had two daughters, which were her stepsisters. So Cinderella was raised with her father and her stepmother. Then the father passed away. So when the father passed away, Cinderella was being raised by her stepmother along with her sisters. And her stepsisters were not nice to her. They were mean to her. They made her do all the housework. And they were just not nice. And they were lazy and mean. So this went on for a time. And so in the town, they heard that the prince was going to have a ball. He was looking for a princess. And so Cinderella desired to go to this ball so badly. However, her stepmother and stepsisters mocked her and said that it is impossible. There is no way in the world you will be able to go. So, as the stepmother got the stepsisters ready for the ball, the stepsisters went to the ball. And uh, Cinderella had a fairy godmother that came upon her and granted her her wish of going to the ball. She changed her rags to a beautiful gown. She changed a pumpkin and made it a coach. And she made the the rats into beautiful horses to to guide the coach to the ball so cinderella went to the ball and she turned everybody's head because she was so beautiful and so graceful and so when the prince danced with her the prince knew it was something special about her but one thing that cinderella had to remember is that 12 o'clock she had to go back she had to go back home because by that time if not she would turn back into who she was so Cinderella got a warning that the clock was soon to strike 12, so she left quick in a hurry and left behind her golden slipper. And so, her glass slipper. So, the prince, he wanted to know who she was. He didn't know who she was, where she lived, so he began a search looking for her over time. And so, when the prince made it to the house of the stepmother and the stepsisters, uh, Cinderella was in the back, and nobody called Cinderella out to the back, and so... The shoe, they were just having everybody try on this glass slipper. So, Cinderella popped out, and then they saw her, and so uh, the person that was with the prince said, let her try on the slipper. So, when she tried on the slipper, her foot fit in the slipper, and the prince automatically knew that it was her. So, how do I put a spin on this? Well, first of all, after the prince discovered that it was Cinderella and this is the one that he fell in love with that night, they got married and she became a princess and no longer lived with the evil stepmother and stepsisters. So, the spin on it that I want to put is, is that what God has for you is for you. Even though sometimes forces may keep things away, people might keep things away, obstacles might come in the way, detours might come in the way. What God has for you is for you. And it will come unto you, God's purpose and plan for your life. God desires for us to have greatness. God does not desire for us to be low. God does not desire for us to be mistreated. God desires for us to walk in victory and walk in the prosperity and blessings and plan that he has for us. So Cinderella was able to go forth unto her destiny because even though they tried to stop her, God, if he has a plan for you, nobody can stop that plan. Nobody could block that plan. They might be able to delay it a little bit, but delay does not mean denial. So I presented to you story number six, which is Cinderella out of the Princess Tales. And just remember that there is greatness within us all. And God has a purpose and plan for us all. So let's treat others 
Let's treat others with kindness. Let's not be mean to anybody. Let's let's not hold try to hold anybody back or discourage anybody from what God has for them because what God has for them is for them and what God has for you is for you. So go forth unto your destiny. Remain blessed. Remain resilient. Keep walking and talking and trusting in the Lord. God bless you.